The new pool design was based off the pool at Pike High School. We talked to Mr. Short about some of the reasons why a new pool was needed. The old pool has some equipment in it that's outdated and the cost to maintain that pool um, and the upgrades that will be needed are so costly um, that we are looking at a new pool. Um, the other opportunity we have is we're going to take advantage of that space in the existing pool and we have two levels of classrooms over there so we'll actually increase our classroom space because we have a growing population. Well, the new pool, it's definitely going to be a lot nicer than what we have now. There's going to be a lot more space and lanes, like lane space for the swimmers, which would be nice because it's pretty tight and packed in there because the team's been growing the past couple years. The pool will grow in size from 25 meters currently to 50 meters. This will expand the capacity of the pool and allow more people to swim. I think you'll see a lot of things change. Um, there will be the art wing will be moving over to the existing pool. Um, the wrestling room will move over there as well. Um, it'll have a nice location for our art, uh, students' artwork to be displayed. It's a long time, uh, 21 months from the day that they broke ground, so you're looking at the spring of 2021. While the new pool's going on, uh, most of it's going to take place on the exterior of the building, um, so you, you shouldn't have a whole lot of interference there outside of that door 5, door 6 area. Um, I will say once classroom renovations start, which will likely be in the spring of this current school year, you can expect whole corridors to be shut down um, and all teachers and students to be displaced from that area and located throughout the other building. So that is all part of the same project, but that's something that's upcoming um, in the spring more than likely. Even though teachers on the third floor will be displaced at times, it will be worth it in the long run. And some other like nice things about it is that there's going to be a zero gravity entrance pool, so um, like special needs kids can really like utilize it now, and it'll be a lot easier for them to get in there. Um, and there's also a thing that Mr. Henderson is doing about teaching um, elementary kids how to swim, and that's going to be like a big push that he's doing as part of the new pool. So. There's a lot of like cool stuff going on besides like just space for the swim team. Like it's a lot bigger than that.